Welcome to the second part of the tutorial on AI automation using jobs with MindsDB. In the first part, we connected data from Binance, created an AI model, trained this AI model with the trading data from Binance, and made predictions for the open price of one of the trading pairs. The prediction is made for the next 10 minutes as defined in the horizon close. Now uh, we want to set up an automated AI workflow that will send alerts to Slack and provide real-time trading data forecasts. Let's start by connecting Slack to MindsDB. We use the create database statement to connect our Slack account to MindsDB. We define engine as Slack and provide the necessary connection parameters. Here we need the bot token. So how to generate this bot token? Now I'll walk you through the steps of setting up a Slack app and generating the bot token required to connect it to MindsDB. We are going to follow the instruction from MindsDB documentation page. So after following this link, it takes us to the api.slack.com slash apps. And here we are going to create a new app from scratch. Let's name it Binance Forecasts. We select a workspace and create an app. Now let's go to OAuth and permissions section to set up the bot token scopes. There are six scopes required. These are all listed in the documentation page, so you can look it up there. Once we added all the scopes, oh, you can add more later if you need. Now let's scroll up and install it to our Slack workspace. So that's how we generated our bot user OAuth token. We are going to copy it and paste it in the MindsDB editor as one of the connection parameters. So before we run this statement, let's finish setting up our Slack channel. So you have to open the Slack workspace where you created your app and we are going to create a new channel. Let's call it Binance Forecasts. Now, we need to right click on the channel, go to view channel details. Under integrations tab, we can add an app that we just created. Here is our Binance Forecast app. Let's add it. Now we can connect Slack to MindsDB using the bot token we generated earlier. Let's run this statement. Okay, so the connection was established successfully. To test it, let's try to insert a message to our Slack channel. So we are using the insert into statement. We are going to insert into our Slack connection the channels table that comes with the connection. The values we need is the channel and text of the message. So channel is our Binance forecast channel, and we are going to send this message by executing the insert into statement. Okay, so now we can see that our app sent this message to our Slack channel, so it works ex as expected. Now that we uh, that the Slack connection is set, let's create an automated alert system by scheduling a job. 
we use the create job statement followed by the name of the job. Here, we are making forecasts for the BTC USDT trading pair. So we name the job BTC USDT underscore forecast underscore alerts underscore Slack. After that, we define all the queries that are going to be executed by the job. And the job is going to execute every five minutes as defined at the end here. So let's go over the queries that the job is going to run. First, what we do, we are going to retrain our model with the recent Binance data. The Binance data is updated every minute. So by retraining a model with the latest data, we are going to improve the model's accuracy and performance. Then, the retraining process may be time consuming. So we are going to use the Joinler process parameter that ensures uh, that the next comment, which is inserted into, is not going to be executed until the retraining process completes so that we have the new uh, retrained model used to make predictions in the second step of the job. Then, Okay, let's move on to the step two of the job. We are going to make fresh forecasts for the next 10 minutes and insert it into Slack. So we use insert into as before, define channel and text. So here is a static message that says here are, here are the forecasts for the next 10 minutes. After that, we are going to select the forecasts from our uh, training, uh, recent training data and jo joined with the model. So the insert into statement needs two values. One is channel, one is text of the message. So channel here is a static name. So we define it as channel. And then for text, we are going to uh, create a text message by concatenating all the components. So first we define the timestamp for which the forecast is made. Here, the value is taken as open time column cast to a timestamp format. Then, forecast of the open price for this timestamp, which is taken uh, from the open price column. Then, data table and model are joined, and we define that we want for the latest open time. So now we can create our job by executing this statement. Okay, the job was created successfully. To uh, verify that, we can query the jobs table, defining the name of the job we just created. So here is our job. It is in the default MindsDB project. It starts started at 11.02. This is the GMT time zone by default. Next run is at 11.02. So the first run of the job is executing as we speak. It is going to execute every five minutes. And these are the queries run by the job. And there is also a jobs history table that is useful to uh, check all the executions that the job uh, had until now. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so this seems to be okay. Our job. Uh, here exec started its execution, but there is no run and value. So the first execution is still in progress. Now let's try to query for it again. Okay, so we, here we see that our job completed it, its execution after 
little over a minute. There were no errors. So we can look up the Slack channel for the output. And indeed, we got the output as the message and all the predictions for the next 10 minutes. This job is going to execute every five minutes. So after five minutes, you will get predictions for the following 10 minutes and so on until you disable the job. And to disable the job, you can run the drop job comment, passing the job's name. So that's how easy it is to automate your AI workflows with MindsDB. Furthermore, MindsDB integrates with over 100 data sources, including popular databases, data warehouses, and applications, as well as over 15 ML frameworks. So you can mix and match all these integrations to create an AI workflow that fits your requirements. Thank you for watching.